Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning, Brian Gelber. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you today? Do well, do well. Thank you. How about you? All right. I've been talking all morning about going back to school, and you're a part of that. This is a new normal for people. So tell me about uh, collaborative learning and things that you can tell us and, and, and mess that with the pandemic. Yeah, it's um, like you said, it's the new normal. I don't, I don't think we would have thought it would become normal a few months ago, but it looks like that's kind of what the school year will be. Um, and I think you mentioned collaborative learning. I think when you think of, you know, going remote, what are the, the two biggest things that kids will miss? One is just socialization, um, and another is personal attention from teachers. There are so many micro interactions through the day where a teacher, you know, kind of gives you a look of, of pride if, if you do something well or, you know, comes over and talks to you between classes or, you know, during lunch or something like that, and those kind of things are missing. So, you know, one of the things that's important for families to do is look and see, you know, how do we replicate things like socialization, you know, can be as, as simple as, get kids together on speakerphone during lunch so that they have that kind of, that, that to look forward to. Um, and then for personal attention, you know, it can be tutoring or small group learning like, like we offer at Varsity, but also can be things like just asking kids to teach you something they learned over the dinner table. So they get that kind of feedback loop, a chance to articulate to, uh, to, you know, to an adult what they learned and, and maybe find out what they're struggling in and just feel that their learning is valued. Brian, we say we're in a new age, and when I, when I hear that, I think of uh, what a great opportunity for parents. Now, you know before COVID-19, parents were complaining, complaining. They're not teaching this. They don't have an after-school program. My kids aren't getting to participate in this. They aren't learning this. Now they have the chance to be the master and the commander of their kids' education. Do parents see this? Uh, yeah, be careful what you wish for, right? Although I do, I love that you're saying, you know, opportunity. That's what we've seen at, at Varsity Tutors. We, um, you know, we found, you know, extracurricular activities generally or, or enrichment classes generally are kind of limited to what can you offer in a, a school, your neighborhood size. Now the world is your oyster. You can choose from hundreds of extracurricular activities, whether it's chess clubs or, you know, you don't have one computer programming class offered at school. Now, you know, you can look online and find classes on everything from graphic design to designing video games, to uh, you know all different computer languages and things. Um, so we're we're choosing to look at it as an opportunity to kind of broaden the uh, the things that kids have access to in small group classes or you know large kind of free seminar type things. Um, and what we found is when you meet kids where they are, when you you know you nurture their innate curiosity and, and love of learning, um, then all of a sudden all the other subjects go down a little bit easier because they've seen the value in learning. They've been, you know, kind of, you know, they've gotten some choice in what they want to learn and they kind of see the pathway. So um, I love that you're saying opportunity because that's exactly how we've been thinking about it. I want my audience to know today I'm talking to Brian Gavin. He's the chief academic officer of Variety Tutors. And I want to tell my producer your phone is on. Anyway, Brian, <laughs> uh, tell me a little more about learning pods and homeschooling because learning pods is a, is a whole new language. It, I think the first time you know we heard that term was right around the Fourth of July. You know, and here we are before Labor Day, and it's all everybody's talking about. Um, you know, I think what people are really looking for is small group learning. It's that personal attention and socialization and, and pod learning, whether it's done in person, you know, the original derivation of the word was, hey, let's get a couple of families together. We trust each other's social distancing. And then the kids can learn in the same room together. A lot of families are finding it's every bit as convenient and, and safer to be able to do it online. But the idea is, is, you know, what we've been doing is families share the cost of a tutor. So if they want to have, um, you know, school ends at 2.30, but parents have to work from home until 5 or 6, you know, they can have an expert kind of facilitate whether it's extra practice on the fundamental skills, you know, reading, writing, and arithmetic, or, you know, more enrichments or book clubs or things. You know, there are all kinds of use cases for get small groups of kids together, have someone facilitate it, and, um, and, and you know, there's socialization, there's personal attention, and there's engagement all there. So that's kind of been what we've seen is really promising with pod learning is families getting together to share costs and, you know, fill in some of those gaps that have been missing. I just see this as a win-win because, you know, I can't change COVID, 
but, you know, I could change uh, the direction of my kids' uh, education. You know, this will help keep them normal, and you get to be able to deliver this, whether you put them in a pod or you you homeschool them yourself. What about uh, helping them think out of the box for extracurricular activities? You just talked about that a little bit. But how do they think about that once they – because, uh, uh, you know, there's some restrictions. You can't go to the museum in certain cities and things like that. So how do you think about these extracurricular activities? I have some ideas, but you tell me. Excellent. All right. Well, th- this will be a discussion. I want to hear yours, too. Um, you know, one thing in terms of thinking out- outside the box, we have one of our celebrity instructors who's teaching a class coming up soon. Uh, it's Phil Torres. He's been on Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, kind of an animal expert. And he mentioned his favorite gift he ever got that he still uses on TV today is a butterfly net he got when he was eight years old. And that just means, you know, he could explore his backyard became a field trip and, and you know, was, you know, kind of taking taking in the sights and sounds of, you know, nature is all around us. And so, you know, getting creative that way can be really helpful. Um, also recognizing there's power in online, you know, there's, there's socialization. We had a, a teacher teaching one of our virtual summer camps who coined the phrase little celebrities about, you know, elementary school kids getting online for things like chess clubs or, uh, you know, other kinds of, you know, learning about, uh, you know, space and dinosaurs and things they're excited about. And not only did they, they get that learning, now all of a sudden they have friends across the country. They feel like little celebrities getting online and they've got their class of 15 they're in Dallas and they have friends in Boston and, and, you know, Seattle. And all of a sudden it's like, Hey, we're connected to the world. So, you know, to your enthusiasm for an opportunity, there are all kinds of opportunities out there. And, and some of the online things, it's a little bit of screen time, but it also connects kids to new ideas and new people that uh, you know, is really a big opportunity. Those are some great ideas. And I think including some uh, uh, nostalgic ideas in there. So, they can have a connection with the past so kids can stop saying, well, you know, I don't know about that. Then, you know, they don't know about anything from the past. You know, they can do things uh, as they can, you can teach them to write a letter. I don't think the kids know the content of a letter, the greetings, the salutation. You know, there's so much that parents have an opportunity to teach their kids rather than just relinquishing those skills to other people called teachers. Teachers can't teach everything. That's what parents are for, to be the first teacher. So there's a lot out there. I like what you're doing. I really, really do. How can my parents get involved with uh, uh, variety, varsity tutors? What, what would it take? Uh, go to varsitytutors.com, and you'll see you know, an array of options to help you know, fill in whatever's missing in your student school year, or what, you know, what you find to be most important. So there's everything from free interactive live online uh, celebrity led classes uh, like I mentioned uh, you know in free enrichment type classes there's small group learning on hundreds of subjects you know like I said anything from you know learning magic tricks to you know brushing up on some of the fundamentals of, of algebra um, there's one-on-one tutoring there's options to set up pod learning so go to varsitytutors.com um, we'll have a solution for you and in your price range and with your students interests um, varsitytutors.com Brian Galvin, Chief Academic Officer of Varsity Tutors. You are well represented them. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Hey, thanks for having me, and thank you for your optimism and enthusiasm. I think everyone needs that right now, so, so thank you. Change. My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder Beebe Show icon, and get started living life divinely.